Okay, because this is a rite of passage. <laughs> yeah, I guess I shouldn't laugh, I'm pink. Do you guys really need to see this? I mean, you just care about shit getting blown up and me screaming, right? Right? Right. So, let's see what happens. So this game is centered around one thing, and that is just blowing the absolute shit out of uh, whatever you don't like. For example, that car? Ah, uh, great. You know what? Um, this may get ripped down. So, tell you what, you are not going to be able to listen to whatever that is in the background, because that isn't a song that you know, okay? That really isn't, okay? You see, there's there's no copyright going on, okay? This is also mostly out of my control. That's going to be my argument. But I will say, I do like these guys. Um, but okay, where am I going? Ooh. Okay, um, you pretty much can't die during the, uh, trial, unless you just stand there. So, this game is very deceptive. It makes you think that you can get away with, uh, absolute bullshit tactics and pretending you're Rambo. You can't do that. You can't do that with any design, at least as far as I understand. I mean... My experiences have so far taught me you be cautious. You also be greedy. Yeah, okay. I do like though you can get these absolutely worthless camera angles. Just how does it not rip itself apart? Because that's used. Actually, that was remotely useful, but I uh, can't do anything now. And you can also get a cockpit view, but fuck that. Okay, we've wasted. Oh god, already five minutes? Jeez. Goodbye. Oh yeah, I guess I shouldn't waste ammo. Now, my tactic for this game has never been refined, so if people want to scream, You can't even aim for shit, you don't know how to use the grenade launcher. That's right, I don't. I know, in theory, it's supposed to uh, flush people out of hiding. Also, this is a boss. 
Here, you don't have to worry. In all the other ranking matches, you need to worry. Also, the green text on top that displays uh, throughout the battle might be kind of hard to read. Um, some level... That was a person's Blackberry ding. Um, some levels are easier to see than others. Uh, so far, this actually looks okay, but... Um, ooh. Yeah, some of the levels are much darker than others. Like, for example, down here... Yeah, it gets to be a little uh, difficult to see what's going on. And another level is more or less just blanketed in shadow and despair. I hate fighting there, because I can't even see what the hell is going on. Okay, so if anything... Ooh. 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 Hey, get out of my face. Um, fire, 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 fire! <laughs> ah, you're screwed. I'm gonna get him. Actually, I can't even, I didn't really look at what he said. All I know is he was bitching about me. He's not the only one. Yes, as I said in the previous video, depressed place. Okay. And that was the intro. Now we get to the real meat and potatoes of the game. Which is to say that over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. But if I do well enough, hey, I got a degree. There's irony in that, but you don't know it. thinking, oh man, this game is just one big cutscene in between shooting stuff. No, if you continually suck, that or you play very infrequently, you won't see these for quite a while. But if you happen to be the golden child who can destroy every single thing that they look at, you'll see these all the time. And it's kind of alright. Now, I haven't beat this game myself, but I've played it enough to, uh... Yeah... We'll let this go on, but really, I... I don't know, I... It's just because I'm running low on time, I guess, I don't know. Now, let's see what they got for sale. These are partner chips. They assist you in battle. By giving you... It's a dolphin. <coughs> no. Uh... <coughs> no. Oh. Ah, I haven't gotten the attention to my co-host. Yeah, she's trying to sleep. And this song does have some significance when you think about it bad. But, okay, um, I'm going to be holding out for a dog for Chip. You will see why. So, if anything, this video is probably just going to be me uh, setting things up for the later recordings. Also, I love this music. You start out with uh, absolutely nothing in terms of a machine to use. Now this thing, it's okay. I personally can't stand looking at its gigantic ass, but that's just me. Not that this one is much better, but it's quick. Those things are alright, but they die very fast. That's pretty much your average machine. It's not that bad. Now these things. 
with his word. It's rated as you know, like the game's second heaviest, or in terms of like class and you know the amount of damage that it can take. I just like it because it looks like Five Alive, or for you new people out there, Wally. That's not to say Wally sucks. He doesn't. Ah, we're going on the horn. But if anything, we're probably gonna go for that because now this the specifications menu. In comparison to all the other game, uh, mech games that I've played, I'm experienced in this. It gets confusing. Also, if you can't tell, it's German. A uh, nine joke will come eventually, okay? Probably when I actually get my ass kicked and I'm genuinely mad. A socket hole. Yeah, okay, that was gonna be a failed sexual joke, but I don't wanna make that right now. Uh, okay, now if you see those O thing, the OC thing, that's called optical camouflage. Essentially, they turn invisible. Also, essentially is not my favorite word, but I do say it very often. If that angers you, I'm sorry. Really, can you can you f hear the genuine tone within my voice? Hmm. Now, if you see the thing on the bottom where it says uh, light and uh, things are heavy, you can adjust them to have more armor or less, uh, which obviously then equates to more speed. Logically, you want heavier ones, the, he the naturally heavier ones to be heavier, the naturally lighter ones to be lighter. The Karo, uh, which is that one you started out with in the beginning, can go either way. Uh, then also all the starting, all the different uh, servers that you can rumble on, those are air quotes by the way, they have uh, a different rate of, uh, some parts are rarer than others uh, to get in the shop. Like right now in Hong Kong, you get a good mix of KHT and I want to say, uh, what are the other ones? Hmm, actually, not much else. That's strange. Um, I think it's actually kind of, uh, it varies a little bit. Um, but let's say you started out in, uh, Stuttgart, is that how you say it? Then you would get, uh, a whole bunch of Zwerg items. Now, neither of these are really good. Or at least, not in my opinion. I think China, uh, Hong Kong, you get a good variety of everything. Just you have to, uh, I don't know, be patient. But I'm just gonna stick with what I know. This is the F Pink Kids. So, just so we don't have to use a crappy rental model, we're gonna go with this. And then I will make it my own. And we're going to aim for maybe about 20 minutes, uh, just to get some actual content in here, okay? Can you see the product sponsorship? And... Uh, that's just not a good color. So, you know, we're gonna leave with the dot matrix because I like that. And I don't like any of these symbols, so no. Option mods. And we're gonna buy that. And you'll find out why. But not right now. And. We're gonna go for that. And also while I'm thinking about it, to prevent uh, any actual copyright strikes, I'm gonna go with music that hopefully isn't cop- uh, won't hit- er, oop. Really won't flip their shit. 
uh, if they happen to hear their music. Or any groups, or uh, labels, owners. I mean, I don't think it's not the artists themselves, it's whoever owns music because then they're crying at night going, I can't make money off of this. America. America. Are you glad we live in a society based on capitalism and freedom? Primarily capitalism. Capital. The capitalism. Also, hi. Uh, all the other nations who, uh, really, the people of all the other nations who might be watching this, that one America to GTFO. We're gonna change. I swear. Okay, we just need time. We're still running out of time. But yes, political commentary. Ooh. Um. Blood music. I was originally going to say bread music, but that's racist. I said it anyway. I'm sorry. And nope, nope, nope. Nothing's copyrighted. Nothing copyrighted. This group here, Saturday Music Group, apparently do stuff for, uh, for commercials. They're musicians for hire, more or less. I actually really like some of the stuff that I heard in this game. And it's neat that they have uh, real artists. Or at least uh, most of them are. I think uh, maybe some of them are also going under uh, covers or... Uh, I don't know, but, ah, crap, we're actually running low on time here, so we're probably not going to actually have any, uh, combat in uh, this episode, at least. But who knows, maybe I'll do a, uh, episode three. So we're just going to use it the last few minutes here to listen to music. going to... Uh, damn. Yeah. Just listen to this. This is happiness in music form. Hopefully we won't get uh, slapped by copyright. I mean, hopefully. Hopefully. But we just gotta see, you know? I mean, do I claim to own any of this stuff? No! How the hell could I have made it? Let's see, and I know, it's not a case of common sense, it's a case of, you don't own that material! I can't help that it's in this game. I'm trying to go for something, you know, that, uh, they just won't flip their shit over. But, yeah. But we're probably going to cut it off here in the next 30 seconds. that's in here. Where is it? <sighs> I can't find it. But whatever. Then I'll see you episode three.